What's up, WWE Champions Universe? This is Lee from Champions Chat, and this is your breakdown for The Miz Must See Superstar. He is your A tier chase during the June 2024 uh, Ladders to Riches contest. He is a technician of the defensive type, modern era, and his coaching ability at 33k. Snowfall gems do 100% more damage, and red moves that deal damage deal 40% more damage. So, Snowfall gems seems to be the focus this month. Just note when it says Snowfall gems do 100% more damage, that doesn't mean that everything the snowfalls cascade into do more damage. It purely means the gems themselves that have snowfall on them. So in most of your cases, a character is going to have, uh, you know, let's say six tops snowfall gems and so 100% gem damage is not going to do that much however uh, and one thing that I don't think I clarified on Maurice's is that her snowfall count fa countdown combination that makes all the snowfall gems those would get buffed 100% so he is a great trainer coach for Maurice in particular, uh, and an update on that last video. I, I'm not going to go back and change it at this point. It's in the wild. So uh, let's take a look at what he can do and a couple move sets. Your first move set is what I'm going to call the awesome sheriff build. It is a blue, I'm sorry, a red, red, green move set. Red 7 MP double axe handle, deal damage, increase your green moves by 9. And then the 7 MP sit out jawbreaker, deal damage, make 30 random gems into one turn countdown gems that will deal damage and then make two random gems into red gems at the end of the countdown. So hopefully you're blowing up the whole board. Then the reality check, finisher, deal damage, decrease your countdown gem dimers by one, and pin the opponent. So uh, you should be able with these one turn countdown gems and a one turn finisher plus what loads all of that to do everything turn one even without plus 99 MP. And I'm not going to show you the build uh, post 99 MP because uh, or with I'm sorry with the 99 MP because you can figure this out pretty quickly and easily. You just sub out your red move trainer for somebody who's doing more red gem damage. In this case, preferably Piper. So I would run Bulldog first because he's 45% and then Piper with 40% gem damage. Zombie Damien Priest was free. Red gems do 30% more damage. And then if you got Carry and Cross, red gems do 30% more damage and met red moves will also deal 30% more damage. If you don't have Carry and Cross, it's very easy to sub out Stacy for 12k flat. On the strap, we are going with the standard preview strap, 50% gem damage, double fury two. However, I am gonna show you two plates on here. Uh, one of them being the ultimate opportunity Z plate. Uh, whenever you make four or more countdown gems, increase your gem damage by 50%. Uh, there are um, some other plates, but the hard times plate doesn't trigger uh, the right color, so you're not gonna worry about that too much. You could build out the Heart of Jade plate, which is going to actually be more damage than the Z plate. I just want to show it with a little bit lower damage so that you see what's a little more realistic since I'm on the test count for yours. But just be aware the Jade plate's the better way to go. And then the Sheriff's badge, whenever you break 15 or more red gems, generate 30 yellow gems after. That's just extra damage. Anybody who makes red gems, that is the plate to go with. We're going to go on the road against Otis and kind of see, does this hit hard enough? Is this a good move set? Uh, it flows well. Nice spit take there. But does it actually give you what you want to see? By the way, the Miz's character model looks pretty good in there. So you would normally need to hit this to get started because uh, otherwise after, you know, when, when you're plus 99, don't worry about it, but afterwards you will need it. It's going to flawlessly reload, so it doesn't matter. Then you're going to hit this. Uh, you've got 1 million damage there, 1 million damage there. That's not a ton in the 6 silver, 6 uh, gold meta at all, but it is a nice little added pinch. You pinched him. 
right? And now you've got all these countdown gems out there. Your red gems are doing 98K, and you're going to hit the finisher, which is going to explode the board with red gems. Bam, bam. And if you've got the sheriff's badge on there, you're going to throw a bunch of yellow gems, which is just added insult. That's all that is. So you're talking uh, 14 million. That would be a sweet 30 million, give or take, at six gold, which is right in that uh, A tier range. That's about what you want a character of that caliber to to hit. So not bad. Flawless recycle, flawless reload. I think most people are going to enjoy that build. Let's take a look at something else. All right, the next move set we're going to look at, I'm calling the Fall of the Tiny Ball. If you know, you know. So this one is 7 MP yellow move, half Nelson neckbreaker on the bottom. Deal damage, choose four gems to make into snowfall gems, which will modify all the gems below it into multiply gems of strength four when broken by you. The discus punch, deal damage, choose a six by one area to swap into green gems. And hardcore, if the opponent's class is powerhouse, first deal damage then deal bonus damage for every snowfall gem which uh you know hopefully that goes off first you're not gonna have a ton of snowfall gems on the board but we'll show you a, a variation in a minute and then the big boot deal damage make 40 random gems into yellow just to note there is another move right here that is make 30 multiply gems into yellow and that is the safer play to get your multi gems but 40 is still most of the board and you should connect so I'm going to use the big boot. You could use the other. They're really pretty interchangeable. On the Entourage, after the plus, plus 99 MP era, you're going to need Kofi to start loaded, plus Brawn, yellow moves, deal two more. Uh, I'm sorry, begin with two more, and then multi-gems increase their strength by one. And then the Undertaker for yellow gems do 12k more damage. And the other Brawny Brawny Strophase for yellow gems do 25% more damage there. I will show this move set with rare trainers and I will put the nightmare plate on there as well in the next go round but first let's see with no additional tricks how does this move set hold up against Otis and keep in mind Otis is a powerhouse so we are going to hit that special bonus ability as well so the one big drawback is without uh kind of a pretty rare trainer or coach. You aren't getting uh, enough snowfall gems to fill up this whole space. I would have liked to have seen that be a six by one to match the six by one that's gonna be green right here. However, even without plus 99, as long as the yellow moves are, or I'm sorry, even after the plus 99, as long as yellow moves are loaded, this is gonna recycle flawlessly. It's gonna do fine. We are going to cascade, which is highly likely with that combination. Highly, highly likely. And Otis is going to uh, get his moves, which is going to take even more away, which is also why I prefer doing the uh, 40 gems to yellow as opposed to the 30 multiply gems to yellow, because now we don't have near as much on the board, and he's about to destroy a lot more of them. So there's your big drawback to this move set here. Ta-da! So now you're loaded. You did your damage per snowfall gem, but you'll notice his health, it really doesn't do that much, at least as shown. I'll show you the rare trainers to make it sing, but uh, yeah, then you're gonna hit this, everything's gonna reload flawlessly, and you're gonna be ready to go. Even without any goodness on the board, that was 8 million, 16 million at uh, six gold, that was black. If I can just be honest, that was black. Um, Cause now he's gonna blow up the board, and kaplow and it's taken way too long to get this one done that's the the drawback if you cascade and since you're dropping multi gems if anything matches that touches a multi gem that's exactly what's going to happen however this does show you exactly how he'll work after the plus 99 uh because you won't start loaded turn one you're going to match these you're gonna do your best to connect these six green gems and not match or cascade anything. And we'll see the whole thing go one more time. Hopefully we can do it one turn this time. Yep, but barely. 
this is a huge cascade risk. So now we can see what it'll hit realistically when you don't have a bad board like I, or a bad hit on the board like I did. Uh, and as you can see, you pretty much wipe out the board with that 40 move, so I don't know why you'd use the other anyway. So that's 16 million, 32-ish, 33 million at six gold. Not bad, um, not bad at all. However, let me show you why it would do a lot better a different way. All right, so same move set, and just a quick clarification, I see right there that I had plates up on the first version of this build, at least in the image. They were not actually on the character, but uh, I, I didn't catch that, so I apologize they were there. However, we are using the Nightmare Plate this time around, and very rare trainers to show you, if you get him in the plus 99 MP era, have these things, what's his top end look like? Is he you know, better than Final Boss Rock, question mark, or roughly the same. So the plate is the American Nightmare. If you're not running it on Regal or Tech Cody or somebody like that, whenever you make six or more multiply gems, increase your yellow gem damage by 100% for one turn. And then on the Entourage, we're putting Trish. She is the Ultra Chase, so I understand that... This is the rarest build, so bear with me, but it's fun to see. Snowfall gems do 18k more damage and generate four more. Honestly, that's what I want right there. More than anything is the additional Snowfall gems. Uh, there is uh, Acro Snoop that could do that on the coach side as well, and that would be fine. But again, he's also super rare. Uh, let me know in the comments section, am I forgetting somebody that generates additional Snowfall gems that's free to play? Because if so, then just take Trish out and, and sub there. Uh, and then we've got Sherry for multiply gems, increase their strength by four. Memrock for increase their strength by one, and the new Brad Hart for yellow gems do 35% more damage, and green gems do 35% more damage. So it hits both of these on this specific moveset. Canadians stand together. Let's see how he does. Same guy against the big guy, Otis. And uh, I'm going to spoil it for you. He hits a lot harder than we just saw. But by how much? That's the question here. So I'm assuming you're running this during the plus 99 era. But once again, it holds true that even if you don't have the green moves loaded, you're going to load the green moves. So life's good. So you are going to convert these right here. And then you have an additional snowfall gem. You just kind of put wherever you want because it's going to break anyway. Uh, preferably on one of the sides or in the middle. And then you're going to hit this move which is going to do your damage per snowfall gem but once again watch his health it wasn't significant it's not really that big a deal so you do a six by one i prefer this would be a seven by one to make this whole thing flow but it is what it is you know turn most of the board oh my gosh i didn't cascade into times nines which means you're then going to turn the rest of the most of the board yellow. You've triggered the plate. You've got your multi-gems out there. You're doing a boatload of damage. 45 million damage. That would be 80 million at six gold. But big caveat here. That was a weird looking face. Big caveat here is it's really only going to flow this way in the plus 99 era. You have to have, uh, after that, Kofi and right back to Kofi and Bronny Bronny Strophase. You, you, you'd have to have them to get loaded turn one, which means you're sacrificing your additional snowfall gems, which means you can't put Trish in and start loaded turn one, although you could use Santa, eat a turn, and go that way. But once again, that means you need Acro Snoop to generate the snowfall gems. So that's a lot of if, 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 ifs to get him to hit that, but for the players who can do this, you can hit 80 plus million with the Miz, uh, just need a bunch of tricks. All right, one last thing to see, and then we will call this one a good. Your last move set I'm going to call the I did not come to play move set because the only reason I would use this myself over the previous two move sets that I just showed is specifically if you have those two plates and they are readily available for you. Uh, on the bottom, you've got the figure four leg lock. Submission, generate 29 random sub gems that deal damage for three turns 
and remaining turn into multiply, but they are only strength three. Then you've got the discus punch, six by one area into green gems, only to load up your big boot, which then is gonna turn the board yellow once again. I'm still not using the make 30 multiply yellow because I just don't see its utility, aside from the big boot, uh, unless you don't have the big boot unlocked, and then of course, just go ahead and use the flowing DDT. Just a note on this move set though, um, you're not gonna use your red moves. Those work together with something else. Uh, you're not really gonna use the half Nelson because you're not gonna be uh, doing anything to break. I mean, you basically would have to replace the sub and that's our previous move set there. So the sub really kind of stands alone. The only reason you're really using it is if you want to control and hey, control is a problem and an illusion, not uh, not actuality, or if you're going to be using the plates that I'm talking about here. So the entourage pretty much the same as we had on the last one before the premium trainers and coaches, Kofi, uh, powerhouse brawn for two more plus one, although that does not load the sub turn one, because uh, that is six and this is an eight MP. So in order to load it turn one with your turn bonus, you're gonna need Santa Hogan in one of these two slots, but I'm just not gonna show that right now. I just wanna show you what it, kind of the damage is, but just note you would need Santa as well to start turn turn one in feud with this moveset, which is another knock against it to me. Uh, Memrock for multi-gyms increase their strength by one, and we'll do the basic trainer with Brawn so that you see it. Of course, you can do the same we did on the last one and uh, swap in Sherry and additional yellow gym guys that are bigger than 25%. Etc. But I want you to see what it realistically looks like. And then in order to really make this move set work uh, well, you would need both the Baddest Jacket and the Acolyte Plate. Whenever you generate three or more submission gems, increase your yellow and black gem damage by 100% for two turns. And whenever you make six or more submission gems, increase all of your gem damage by 50% for your next turn. The one problem is this is coming from a sub so check me in the comments section. Some have said certain plates do work with create multi off a sub. Others uh, have some, some issues, but both of these are when you generate sub, you get them for the next turn. So doesn't have issues with that side of things. All right, so we're gonna go up against Otis one last time and see what this does. Keep in mind, you would not be loaded turn one in feud without a middle lane bonus. Uh, with these trainers, you would need to sub in Santa Hogan, so you lose some additional stuff. The problem is for me, uh, the sub move is just not strong enough. I mean, 300k uh, it used to be, oh my gosh, world changing, but in the six gold meta, it's just not doing a thing. So you throw down the subs, as always, you want them to break as few as possible, but they usually break more than your heart can bear. There it is. Uh, so right there, we, oh, and he's getting it. No, no, okay, good, he did cascade. He did cascade. Otherwise, he was gonna break even more of our heart right there. All right, so our next turn now has the yellow gems buffed. One, two, three, five, four, five. Then you can run this one here if you want to get the green gems out to reload, but realistically, you know, that's for, I mean, you have to have that for the plus, without plus 99 MP. Otherwise, you're just gonna make this, but we've lost so many gems already, I don't wanna risk cascading. I'm just gonna show you what it hits for like this and then you sub them again and you start all over. So, 16 million, 16 million. So that is a very solid move set specifically with those two plates. Without those two plates, at least the baddest jacket, at least the baddest jacket. If you didn't have the baddest jacket, I really don't recommend this move set unless you just need to control the board. So uh, where does the Miz fit? Well, <laughs> Miz fit. <laughs> I just think it's hilarious that both of our A tier chase characters over the last two months in a row have been defensive, which does mean that they tend to be more controlling and less uh, aggressively gem damage based. So he is a pretty good comparison to Final Boss Rock. Uh, he, if you have some tricks for him, he can absolutely be one of the best techs in the game, but you have to have the tricks for him, and that's where 
the rub is going to be for a lot of people. So let me know what you think in the comments section. Uh, we are going to power rate him in about two weeks uh, from when this video is being recorded. So you'll know exactly how does he square off against Final Boss Rock. Let me know if you think you're going to get him in the comments section. Like this video, subscribe to Champions Chat, and then send this to your friend or faction mate who's going, hey, uh, I I'm getting Miz. How do I run him? What do I do with him? Here's how. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.